Hello boys, my name is Kuliyoshi, and welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Mario Plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope. We can see there's different uh, new setups to happen. We can go to settings, change difficulty, do some other stuff, and just a couple of other things. We could also look at the downloadable content if we have any. Or we could go for a news feed for news. But anyway, we're going to continue the journey now. I just thought I would shut it off at least once because uh, that's a cool intro thing that we could get into, but... Anyway, in the last video, we saved the first world, Beacon Beach, from the uh, Dark Moss ten Dark Dark Mess tentacles, and now we have to um, finish the rest of the world by uh, getting all of its collectibles and stuff 100% completed. We left off defeating a big red uh, shield-like go Goomba with a hat, hat on itself. Now we have to go and do other various things around the world as well. It's probably going to be very tricky to figure out where everything is necessarily. So I think for the first part, um, I don't want to... I feel a bit sad for denying Madame Brostella the thing that we were supposed to do. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that next. It's probably... And be a bad idea. I might not. Heck, who knows? It might not be bad, but uh, uh, but at the same time, I have to do something at some point. Honestly, I stopped because I didn't have enough time to go through the full thing. But now we're going to go in. Oh, this is not the right files. I thought it was. It's actually down on a lower section. Ah, here she is. Are you sure you want a combat expedition in Dimensional Drift? I'm not legally responsible for the outcome. Sure. Alright, here we go. This is a challenge battle that we have to do. If we want 100% the battle at some point. I don't know if this is a challenge challenge, like a challenge, or just battle, but uh, we'll find out. Sunrise Gateway. Defeat all enemies. Okay. There's a lot more enemies to defeat. Okay, it has some harder enemies. The battle is level 10 as well. We also have some slightly more trickier stuff. Uh, I don't like the range on these enemies, and I also don't like the fact that it's a lot of Mm, claw-based enemies. But we also kind of have other annoying things to deal with. So. We're gonna put VG on the team instead. Switch around so Mario's the main character again. Then switch our sparks around. So VG still has Pile Star, Mario has Ganox. And Rabbit Peach is instead going to have the boost, and she's going to use that on turn one now. What do I want up next? I think I'll do Electro Sphere first. Exo Sphere does. Alright, uh, we can't get the others up, so for now we'll just leave them as it is. Alright. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We already know how to deal with the shield enemies. We pretty much have no choice but not to attack them. Oh, 
All right, let's do the turbo charge thing first. And I think what I'm gonna do is have a rabid peach team jump over here. Put her here for now. Then have Luigi move up here for now. Oh yeah, thanks, Dad Luigi. Let's use that. And then Mario, you're gonna use Aquanox, I believe. It's the weakness of these enemies, if we remember. Kind of weird, but it is what it is. I guess they are pants. They don't really like water, so I guess that is. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's like a knockback. Cool. Alright, that was a nice combo to use. That ended up defeating that enemy for us. Alright, we'll hit another enemy from far away using this. I think my play here is because there's so many tricky enemies and also enemies that can snipe us down for a fire. Kinda have to play the long game with this battle since there is no turn limit in these anymore and no requirement to get uh, a specific thing done. We can just uh, focus on defeating enemies one at a time here and then switch as we need to. We didn't finish that guy off, but that's fine. Now on the next turn, we'll use our pyro. Oh, okay, we fired, so yeah, that's right. We don't get to do anything, but that's fine. Because Rabbit Peach and Mario are now going to move up. And I'll have one of them dash the enemy nearby. Okay. Cool. Okay, that didn't work. That's fine, we have a backup plan. Okay, that enemy isn't even ranged to be defeated, so, alright. I mean, it's, uh, first Rabbit Peach has to go up and team jump. Yeah, I'm gonna have her just go directly into the mm, instead. There we go. Luigi will eventually move up. I just need to hit him some range at some point. Alright. Now we use that uh, right here. And we should be done. Because I used my fiend early, I need to pass the turn to the enemies. Ah, uh, great. Yeah, class it. The Goomas move first, so... Uh, yeah, that move was never gonna work out. Oh, 
That's it. Do we have a line of sight on any of them? We do not. Okay. Luigi pretty much can't do anything then. Probably just gonna move him and pass his turn. And then the other characters will have to do the work for us. But we'll heal with Rabbit Peach first. Obviously in any battle that involves... Any battle that involves survival, we definitely want to heal in. Alright. Ooh, almost defeated him right away. Didn't quite get it done, but I have a different idea. Maybe move Mario close to this enemy, dash him, and then we can take out a different enemy. I don't know if I want to attack the Wild Claw necessarily right away. You know what? That's yeah, screw it, I will do it. And then I can just attack it later. That works. Alright, pass the turn and wait for these guys to play. Okay, the Wild Claw didn't go fast far enough. Only one in the attack there. Again, the ground is Baki Maligi, so we just have to skip this turn again. We'll use Mar Peach's dash to do that. Mario's dash will be used to remove the sever shield Goomba. And we'll use the same. There we go. Cast the turn again. And we continue on. Okay, so so far this So far this hasn't been a super hard battle, but it hasn't been an easy battle, that's for sure. Okay, I really need to get Luigi into this. Let's see if Mario can assist him. Okay, he can, just barely. Yeah, Luigi desperately needs to team jump get closer. He could use an air team jump thing, but we're not close enough. Okay, um, going for the enemy on the right would be too risky because we can't even reach him anyway. Of course, the other enemy is not even close to us yet. Dude, Luigi's not even that close? Okay. Yeah, this enemy's in a really bad spot, it seems. Well, since he's not in a good spot, we'll try this instead. We'll just try. Yep, I figured it would miss. I figured it would miss. We'll buff up though with this. You know what? Since that didn't work, uh, I'm gonna do the next best pain. And have Mario just team jump all the way over to where he is. Defeated him, so now Peach 
We'll move in and do a similar thing. These enemies are quite tanky. I don't like them. They take a while. They take quite a while just to defeat. But pop both of our abilities though. Oh, okay. Mario is too far away for his, but that's fine. That will just quickly target him. Don't have Aquinox yet. I like how Dash is now boosted based off of- Ooh, my goodness, this guy is so big I can't even move around him now that I've dashed. Alright. Alright, there we go. Got him. Slightly tougher than normal battle, just as I thought, but we got it done. And we got some more stir bits as well. We need like 200 more though, so... Alright. Live or well done. You are doomed. Oh, you can redo that whenever you want. Apparently. Alright, well, let's uh, pin this other thing now. I like how what you have to do in the world is based off of quests and tokens in the world. That's basically what you get to use. So now we should be able to play the different games that we weren't able to. Good day, Minx. You look keen and full of beans. You ready for the Beacon Fish Silly Fish Chuck Challenge? The Beacon Beach what now? Yeah, exactly. Chuck Challenge. You huh? chuck all the silly fish into the fountain before time expires. A small fee of 20 coins lets you ride the boat across their fills and enjoy the motions of a pro fish chucker. So, is it now, nah, yeah, or a yeah, now? Nah. I knew you were a ripper. A little tip for you. Try dashing the silly fish. It makes them easier to grab them. Murphane, don't wander off too far. We'll have to disqualify you. No refunds. Victor, go to spoils. Oh, what is this? An hour battle, or is it just... Okay. Oh, hello, Super Mario World theme. This is an old classic theme that they remade for this uh, game. That's cool. even more than I fought. Okay, so I need to just get like through fun. Ray Galping Gloss, that was beautiful mate. It's a gold finish. To beat my PR, well, let's call it a t or let's call it a tie. But feel free to give it an hour go anytime. All right. Or oh, we got an error one of these. 
What does he say? Bitter takes on all cards, provided they provide the nominal entry fee of 20 coins. Okay, well, that seems to be all we need from that. I swear, accidentally pressing Y seems to be a big thing I keep on doing instead of pressing the button for dash, which is X. So awkward. Anyway. Well, another planet coin down. And there are a few more to go still. I got a great deal on this vacation pass. Now I know why. This place is crying with bomb arms. I'm more stressed than when I left. Would you give her at least three of them? I could really use the R and R. So we have to get rid of these bomb arm enemies. Of course, they're a, this is level three enemy, so it's pretty easy to defeat them. quick enough. Oh, we s there's still a Dartmouth skank over here. Alright. Cool then. I just realized you can drop down early if you uh, know that. Oh, where to throw it. Hey, yeah, that's just barely not enough to defeat them, but that's fine. Mario has a double tank to defeat those enemies. Right. Easy enough. Would normally not defeat these enemies, but the f because they're lower level. But the fact that we have to do it for a quest means we don't really have much choice now. Yep. Okay, there's a eye over there. We need to do something for, but I don't see an error bomb um, around yet. Still not have the ability to discover what those dig spots mean. But we can at least do some extra quest here. Hmm. Oh, here's a extra thing, but we still need uh Yo! That's when Spring Arch trapped behind uh a different hall, which is trapped behind another hall, so we can't do that yet, so that means we only have one choice now for be next, and that is get rid of a never um dark mess puddle. It seems like these dark mess puddles are everywhere, so it's, it almost feels like Super Mario Sunshine over again. We have to clean up stuff, only it's just straight up black now. 
In Sunshine, sometimes the maps you have to clear up would be different colors, but this one is just for some reason. Okie dokie! Okay. We just have to reach this area, that's simple enough. Let's just try our movement for now. Yeah, uh, we can... Then... Luigi moves back and assists Mario. And for Mario, we try to go all the way over to the edge. At least as close as we can go. Then... Luigi team jumps with his turn. Hmm, I guess we could go here. Alright, there's nothing that we could do here. Ground. Okay, so they were able to just attack Luigi. I didn't know there were so many there. They literally just all went on Luigi. And he was okay. hidden behind cover, but only partial cover. I did not accept that to be serious. Alright. Well, that's fine. We're already done, because uh, all we do is run Mario to this spot. In here. Yeah. Then we drop down on this part. And we finish the battle in two turns. We could have finished this in one turn depending on the setup, but there was just no way we were doing that otherwise. That was a bit scary though. Luigi took all the damage there. The enemies are, like I said, very smart in this game. They will always try to focus on one target at a time if they can. Okay, that didn't actually give us anything, so we need to figure out now. Where's the egg for this to defeat this thing? That's what we need to find out. There's just so many puzzles unsolved that we don't know about. Whatever, we clear down another Dark Mass Tentacle. But the only other roaming bomb bomb is hidden in an area that we can't get to yet. Just so you know, this time I don't necessarily intend. Oh, hell. Bleep sheep, midi hippies, demo scene shapers, and chiptune makers. I got Bandu's both albums with my Polychronic pa Pocket Sonic on them are missing. If you want to get tripped, you'll find them for me. May your waves always be triangle.
Well, since we have to still defeat bomb bombs, let's uh, do that now on this battle. Oh yeah! Now, this is another reason why what? Green Rabbit Peach in. See, since she can heal whenever she wants, that means we can basically just when a when a time is needed. Basically, as long as we have her on our team, we can heal characters whenever we want, essentially skipping the need to heal in between battles. There's still some times where we'll probably want to team automatically, and there's also times where the game will just do it for us, but I... Once again, Rabbit Peach is super important. He, now you can kind of see why I boosted that heal up so early as one of the first... Oh, for some reason this game wants to go... Let's, uh, run. Alright. One set of discs. And then the second set, we should be able to get a... And we'll be getting a spark once we finish this. This took a turn for a worse. I figured this would not be easy. Yeah, we're gonna just find the disc and do other stuff? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is not just a disc swap or just a, uh, help a person do a thing, get a spark for free. Or like, oh, wait, uh, you, you thought you were gonna get a spark for free, mate? Nope. Not at all. In fact, we have to go into another really tricky battle with more darkness eyes to destroy. This time there's a lot of flame-based enemies. In fact, if we use look out, there's practically none of the non-flame enemies here. That means we're going to have to switch our inter rounds again. We also want characters that can be hitting multiple targets at once, so she's definitely not the play here, I know that much. Luigi's really great, particularly for his range, but we don't need him now, which means we don't have to change their setup. Uh, so, Edge can only hit one target, mm -mm, Terrors can only hit one target, but... Whereas Peach and Hmm are both really good. In fact, hmm, I'm actually tempted to see whether or not I should remove Mario Knight. You know what? Since this is the AoE setup, and we're gonna need to do Hmm setup, let's just do that. Oh, this is not the change thing I thought it was. Oops. Okay. Um. Ah, there we go. Jeez. I, I was just on the run menu there. Uh, as this is an AoE comp setup, we want to do Rabbit Pete, Rabbit Mario and Rager Peach because they both have AoE and can take out multiple chemicals at once. So they'll be a bit better for this battle. They'll also do better cleave damage. And we'll probably just ignore most of the enemies here. And that means we have to do skill trees for each of them. Um, well... Give her this for now. This decreases uh, how much damage she loses whenever she uh, goes too far away from Eriters. Then there's uh, Peach. Rabbit Peach as well needs stuff. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I wasn't even giving her HP yet. Well, since she's the last one to get HP. 
we should give her one tier of HP. And sure, we'll give her effectiveness, so uh, whenever she has to restore herself, she gets 10% more from that. And then Rev Mario, you get, um, I think I'm just gonna get you weapon damage, or maybe range. Actually, let's, yeah, let's get you moving. There we go. And that's that. And then for uh, Sparks, we need to do... This is Peach. Um, maybe Peach stays where he is. Maybe Mario switches regular Spark for um, Aquanox. And for Protector, Princess Peach will go with Exospear and use that. In addition to our ability. And this will just... Yeah, that should help out a bit. And now we're gonna go into another very on battle. Well, here we go. This is a Von battle with 12 Dark Best Eyes to defeat. And so we're probably gonna have to split up our team once again here. We can start by attacking some of these Arbiters first, but after that. After dashing those, we'll probably have to do some other stuff. Okay, Peach has the least range of this team. I don't need Mad Mario to necessarily get close right away, so I think here's what I'm gonna do with the plan. We're gonna not attack any regular enemies just yet. And instead, Rabbit Mario is going to assist these characters in getting to one side of the darkness side. They're both going to focus on that, and Tinky Rabbit Mario is going to go by himself in a different area. So now we're going to each team jump off of Rabbit Mario and try to defeat as many Dark Moves tentacles as we can get each time. Oh yeah! Uh -uh. Don't really need a damage up to kill these, so we could ignore using our for now. Now you fly. All right, let's do this one. This is the main thing I wanted to use, by the way. And then we'll protect Pe uh, Rabbit Peach. <laughs> Team Barrier is going to be first since it's guaranteed damage uh, reduction. And it'll take a lot of damage otherwise. And then Rabbit Mario doesn't have anything else to do. And he doesn't need to use Anchoring, so we'll just... Maybe throw him by cover here. Attack this enemy to defeat it. Then use counter. In case something happens. And we will pass the turn in the enemies. And uh, we'll just run away from the wild cause probably. Take out the ranger enemies mainly. Cause uh... Um, Okay, cool. That stopped uh, the super effect from happening, too. So we did pretty well there. We stopped the super effect from applying. I'm gonna try and position Peach down to hit both of these. Which it does. And we can even hit some enemies, too. That would be cool. It does make that other enemy will move, but that's fine. Oh, jeez. We do have items we can use as well, but remember, those consume a turn. So we want to try not to use that. Uh, we're going to focus on the ranger enemies first. I don't really say ranger as a silly setup. I simply mean essentially enemies with range. That's basically what I mean when I say ranger. Basically, it means in it with range. Okay, well, if I put Peach over here, I should be able to have the range to do this. 
Let's take out this enemy here. As the wallet claws, we could potentially kite. Or even stun if we need to. Now, for Rabbit Mario, he's gonna move right up and actually attack all four of these at once. But this is why I wanted to have Rabbit Mario in the team. We could just do that and instantly remove all four of those at once, and then we can have him move up and do the same thing for the second part. And uh, now we have no choice but to end the turn here. This Wild Claw will move, do nothing. That Wild Claw thankfully didn't get in range, so he's gonna do nothing. This is one of those battles where you definitely don't want to deal eat the wild claws unless you have no choice. Of course, now that there's portals, uh, it'll get a bit tricky. That one just has a wild or wild claw. We can pretty much ignore that one. Let's have these guys over here. Don't have a good spot for either to go, so we'll just throw him there. <laughs> nope, that's not what I want. I want this. Let's fortify our characters. This is why we had this. Who do I send in? Who do I purposely let take damage? I don't know. Well, I don't. Well, for sure, I don't want it to be Peach, so let's uh, have Peach go in the team jump. Try to land maybe on top of one of these spots here. See if Peach will drop to the other side of it. Nope. Okay. Well, that was still pretty good. Now we'll have her try to hit two things at once again. And we should be able to have it done by next turn. There's no point in waiting, so let's just pass the turn of the enemies, and we might heal towards the end. Who takes damage? See, I knew somebody would take damage, and also the Fortify came perfect. Uh, we didn't take as much damage. Everybody takes a bit, but that's fine. This is why I put Rabbit Mario also in this battle. For survival battles, Rabbit Mario is the best. He has the most health right now. I purposely build him as a tank, because I knew that we would be taking a lot of damage. Ooh, okay, our first actual burn. Bit more of a bird fold, I'm uh, sure, in this game, because now burn also does, um, Movement to, uh, does damage as it moves, which makes it more on the lines of, uh... Basically on the more lines of Final Fantasy games, pretty much. Meaning, just like that game series, uh... Well, I guess not necessarily. I'm not sure if there is early status event in that, but I know for Pokemon, uh... Pokemon that get hit by burn, they just suffer constant damage every turn, and they also have their, uh, have their effectiveness in battle reduced. Essentially, they do half damage while that has uh, stuff active. Anyway, we got that memory as well as got a new... Moop Snoops, Asseline Gayers, Grisound Hounds, and 8-Bit Clowns. Cheap Tuna has the vibes to take you all into overdrive. Now we can finally actually um, hear him sing, though. But anyways, yeah, Burn's definitely a lot more difficult. Uh, and we got a new spark as well. People think that's amazing. Thanks, I call this one fish and chips. Lots of wet pulse I had the spark! I had the spark. Yeah, Spark of Nostalgia is normal. Okay. That works.
So we get Aqua Dash, so now that gives us our attacks of the Dash variety only the effect of Aqua. We should probably level him up right away. So let's level up this new spark now. Okay, we got a lot more leveling up to do now. Okay. Now we're almost done with that. <laughs> now what? Okay, there's still this. Oh yeah, there's that. Unlock the pipe with tail sacks. Oh, this one's just the same one. Okay. Alright. You know, we're so close to finishing, we should probably do this real quick. Why not? So I would try and skip from battles, but we're so close to winning our team level. Why not try and get it now? Oop. Okay, uh, also, yes, we can run as well. Since this is like random battles, we can also run for the battles as well, but there's no point. We wouldn't have gone to the battle otherwise. start getting move out with some of the characters after the HP, but anyway, okay, it didn't look like we got anything there. Eh, yeah, whatever. Alright. So normally I don't try to stop until the timer hits the 50 mark, but it's getting close enough, and the next time we, uh, video on this, it will be us going to the next world, but I guess for before that, we should probably try to find our ship first. Which I kind of forgotten about. Oh, okay, you can just fast travel to it. Alright, that works. We'll just do that instead. Ah, there we go. Alright, that's better. Well, uh, it's time to once again save the game. We'll save in our ever save file again. And. That is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.